March Madness season. Big 12 tournament's coming up this week. Let's break it down, and I'll tell you who I think cuts down the nets in Kansas City. What is up, college sports fans? Welcome to another edition of Cousins Corner. Thank you for dropping in, where you can kick back, relax, be yourself, and let me pour you out some top-shelf college sports content. As, as I break down this Big 12 tournament, I ask that you please leave in the comments who you think wins the Big 12 tournament this year. Do you think there will be any upsets? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, please. That really helps out that YouTube algorithm. And if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up button. And also, uh, if you get through this video and you like what you hear, and you like my and you like this kind of content, please hit that red subscribe button. Also, now let's get on with it. First round game, we've got my West Virginia Mountaineers, who are the ninth seed, playing the eight seeded Kansas State Wildcats. That game tips at 7 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, March the 9th, on ESPNU. And one thing you'll notice is Oklahoma State's missing from this bracket. Most of you may know they received punishment from the NCAA for some recruiting violations by an assistant coach a few years ago, so they have a one-year postseason ban. So they are not in the Big 12 tournament, so there's only nine teams. So West Virginia, Kansas State plays the first-round game winner. will move on to play the number one ranked Kansas Jayhawks in round two. But when you look at this game, Kansas State has a 52% chance to win, leaving West Virginia with only a 48% chance to win, according to ESPN Matchup Predictor. Two teams split during the regular season. You got West Virginia, who's 15 and 16 overall, with a 4 and 14 record in Big 12 play. You've got Kansas State, who was 14 16 overall, 6 and 12 in, in conference play. Both games in the regular season were five points or less. So I'll predict another close one, but I do think West Virginia pulls it out in the end. I do think West Virginia is a slightly better team than Kansas State. I know I might be a little biased because I'm a West Virginia fan, but as you'll see as I go through these brackets, I'm not going to be biased much. And even though I'm a Mountaineer fan, I do think West Virginia is a better team here. They just came off a win against TCU to close out the regular season. They got some momentum going in their direction. I think they're going to come out and give everything they've got for the large senior class they have because they know that if it's win or go home. So I think they're going to play hard, bring their best, and I think they, they get the win and go on to play Kansas in round two. Now, speaking of round two, the top of that bracket, you've got the number four Texas Longhorns against the number five TCU Horned Frogs. The game will tip at 12.30 p.m. on ESPN2. These games, all these round two games, by the way, are being played on Thursday, March the 10th. The game will tip at 12.30 p.m. on ESPN2. Texas has a 71.4% chance to win, according to ESPN. TCU only 28.6% chance. Texas is 21-10 and 10 overall on the season and 10-8 and 8 in conference. TCU is 19-11 overall, 8-10 and 10 in Big 12 play. Texas won both matchups during the regular season by margins of 23 and 9 points, respectively. I think Texas is just a much better team than TCU, to be honest. And I think Texas pulls off an, another win and wins the third game over TCU. I know it's hard to beat the same team three times in a season, but that, to me that only applies when the two teams are pretty evenly matched. I don't think these two teams are that evenly matched, even though the seeding may say differently. I think I think the top four teams in the Big 12 are kind of a step, are kind of a level above the rest of the conference. And, I, and Texas is in that top four. I think they win the game. Move on to round two. Then you go down, you got the Kansas versus winner of Kansas State and West Virginia. Obviously, I picked West Virginia to win, but uh, I'll, I'll break down Kansas versus both teams here. Uh, Kansas will obviously be a favorite. The game will tip at 3 p.m. Eastern time. We're on ESPN. Oh, Big 12 did not do Kansas State or West Virginia any favors here because they have to play a 7 p.m. game on Wednesday night and then turn around and play a 3 p.m. game on Thursday. So only an 18-hour turnaround. Can these teams even have their legs underneath them? to play the number one team in the conference and one of the top teams in the country. We will see. But Kansas has beaten both of these teams twice. Uh, they beat West Virginia t by big margins both times, uh, specifically the game in Lawrence where they won by 26 points. The two games against Kansas State were a little closer, uh, especially the game in Manhattan, Kansas, where, they, where Kansas only won by three points. But either way, I do think Kansas wins round two game pretty handily to regardless of who they play, and moves on to play Texas in the semifinals. You go to the bottom of the bracket, you've got the number two Baylor Bears against the number seven Oklahoma Sooners. Game tips at 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. Baylor has an 81.8% chance to win. Oklahoma with an 18.2% chance to win. Baylor's 26-5 and five overall on the season, 14-4 in Big 12 play. Oklahoma is 17-14 overall, 7-11 in conference play. Baylor, there again, Baylor won both meetings during the regular season. Both games were by double digits. 
there again, I know it's hard, like I said, hard to beat the same team, but not when you've got two teams on different levels. I think Butler's just a much better team than Oklahoma. I don't think Oklahoma's good. Oklahoma's right on the bubble of getting in the tournament. They need a win or two to get in. I don't think they get it. I think Butler wins the game, and I think they win it fairly handily. Bottom of the bracket, you got Iowa State, number six, versus number three, Texas Tech. Game will tip at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. will air on ESPN2. Texas Tech with a 78.7% chance to win, according to ESPN matchup predictor. Iowa State with a 21.3% chance. Texas Tech is 23-8 and eight overall on the season, 12-6 and six in Big 12 play. Iowa State is 20-11 and 11 overall, 7-11 and 11 in Big 12 play. Now, these two teams did split during the regular season, but I do think Texas Tech is the better basketball team. I think Mark Adams has got this team playing good ball. They're, they're tough. They're gritty. They play great defense. They play hard from, from opening whistle to final whistle. And I think Texas Tech gets the job done here and beats Iowa State. So I, that, that leaves us with a Texas, Kansas, Baylor, Texas Tech semifinal. First game, you got Texas against Kansas. I'm picking the upset here. I think Texas actually upsets Kansas in the semifinal round. The reason why, these two teams split during the regular season. Texas won in Austin, and it took Kansas overtime to beat Texas in Lawrence, which, is, as we all know, is one of the toughest places to play in college basketball. I think Texas matches up well against Kansas. I think they're arguably the best defensive team in the league, especially from a a points-per-game perspective. I think they will do a good job on the perimeter of of limiting Ochai Baji and some of these other guards from scoring the ball. It's going to force them. It's going to force David McCormick and some of these forwards to win the game for them, which they were able to do in that overtime game in Lawrence, but I don't think they can do that twice because I think Chris Beard will make adjustments. And I think Texas pulls out the upset over Kansas in the semifinals and moves on to their second straight Big 12 title game. Next, you got Texas Tech and Baylor, the two and three game. Would be, this would probably be the one game everybody wants to see here. You've got two teams that are fairly evenly matched. Texas Tech actually won both meetings during the regular season, but I just don't think they can beat Baylor three times. I think Baylor's too good to beat three times. I know Baylor's dealt with some injuries this year. Jonathan Chamachacha went, went down. Everybody thought Baylor season was over. They just kept winning games. LJ Cryer's been hurt. They've had, I mean, just one injury after the other, and they just continue to win basketball games. So Scott Drew's got that team playing really well. He's got them believing. So I think they win this game over Texas Tech. I just think there's some magic in Waco. I really do. I think there's something special there. So I think you get a Big 12 final of Texas and Baylor. Now, I could use the same logic in this game, that you can't beat the same team three times. Because Baylor did beat Texas twice in the regular season. But, like I said, I think there's magic happening in Waco. I think the Baylor Bears beat Texas for a third time. I think they cut the nets down in Kansas City. Scott Drew does the one thing he's not been able to do. He's won a Big 12 regular season title. He's won a national title. Now I think he wins a Big 12 conference title. Completes the trifecta. The Baylor Bears will be your 2022 Big 12 tournament champions in Kansas City. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with my prediction? Do you think I'm off base? What, who do you think wins the Big 12 tournament? Let me know your prediction, even your score prediction in the comments. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. If you like this, these kind of videos, I also do a lot of college football videos, but since it's March Madness time, I'm, I'm going to do a little bit, probably a few more basketball videos than I normally would do. But please, subscribe to my channel if you like college sports content. Uh, please give me that thumbs up if you like this video. If you like what I'm doing here, you can also support me financially to help me grow my channel. You can join my channel, become part of the Cousins Corner family by hitting that join button right underneath the video. You can join my Patreon page. Both of those things come with perks. The, the, the perks will be explained when you hit, hit the link and go into the site. Or you can just send me direct donations through Venmo, PayPal, or Cash App. All the links are in the description box. Or, like I said, you can support me for free by giving thumbs up, subscribing, or leaving comments. That helps as well. Helps that YouTube algorithm. Helps get my videos promoted through YouTube. Once again, I thank you for tuning in, and as always, Q Country Roads.